Okay, you may have noticed that uh, there's a rounded edge and a, we'll call it a sharp edge, not really sharp, on these two sides. And this side is completely rounded. This edge is intended for skin rolling, where these two are intended for breaking adhesions. So the skin rolling side, which is this leading edge of the stingray, and it's shaped so that it can go down flat on the surface while this tail is still coming up and your thumbs just slip underneath like that now your fingers can go ahead and grab skin and pull it over top much like this go back a little further you can grab that skin and pull it right and then of course push the tool along now my thumbs are underneath and just like you would skin roll with your with your fingers over your thumb this is just so much easier on the thumbs because you're just uh, using the tool in place of the thumbs and of course you get a much broader area of release as well okay I'm going to demonstrate how to use the stingray tool I'll put a little lotion on her leg to start with now depending on if you hold the tool with the stingray part face up or face down you can do effective effleurage or you can use it as a tool to break up adhesions uh, under the skin. You can clearly see that the one side of the tool is flat while the other side is curved. So if you have the flat area down, for example right here, you get an uh, adhesion release. If you have it flipped over on the, the rounded part on the leg, you get a very effective uh, effleurage tool. Now as you work with that flat surface down, the um, adhesion release side, uh, you will find that there are areas that it smoothly slides over very silently. Then you'll hit an area where it will begin to vibrate. Uh, that of course indicates that there's some scar tissue in that area. Uh, you'll be amazed how you can't feel it with the effleurage side and you cannot feel it with your hands. But when you use the uh, tool correctly, you'll find areas of adhesions that you completely will have missed uh, all of your career until uh, you start using a tool something like this. Because it's obviously not possible for you to feel the vibration in the tool on this video, I'm going to hold a small microphone right near the tool so that you can actually hear the uh, adhesions as you hit them and start to break them. I will cross fiber from every direction to release those adhesions. Oh. And so, cross fiber from one direction and then from another. Feels really good? Yeah. <laughs> I think that goes pretty deep too. A lot of this, these adhesions are really superficial here. Huh? Looks like you can really feel that. That's the worst area right there. Feels like to me. Is that the same for you? Um, or is it it's easy? It's not up? so bad, right? Remember how sore this was just a minute ago. It's already released tremendously. I found when I had it used on me that it sometimes eased up quite a bit, fairly quickly. Yeah. So there, that's more the effleurage. And there's more the teens with it. I don't think that hurts as much now, does it? Or no, it doesn't. That that says uh, it's less, uh, it's improved a lot, let me put it that way. There. So my technique is to break the adhesions and then turn the tool over and drain the area with the effleurage side to get rid of those uh, fiberclasts that have broken up. Doing the Achilles insertions completely. You can really scrape the uh, oblique insertions on the crest of the ilium as well as the uh, 
uh, quadratus and lorem where it attaches. I'm going to use the rounded edge of the uh, tool here on the uh, iliac crest. Now I'm using very little pressure here, even though you can see her squirming a bit. I'm getting things that I would never gotten with my fingers. You can feel that, can you? Oh, yeah. Right on the crest? That's a little higher up. Like right where you start. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Your hands will feel like they're on vacation while you do the most effective work you've ever done. Thank you for visiting the Career Extenders website.